Previously on Blues and Bullets. Do I know you from someplace? Me? No. But you do know my boss. You should be rotting in jail. Look, Ness. My granddaughter Sophia has been kidnapped. And I thought I was the only one who still hated you after 20 years. What else have you got? I don't give a damn what happens to me, Ness. You just save Sophia. I'll do it. Not for you. For her. Carlo Baccarini. Biggest forger in Santa Esperanza. Is that our man? We have to find out who did this and why. Let's go. You're Osman Burke, right? Who wrote this note? Uh, Nikolai Ivankov. Calm down, Burke. You were going to meet up with him, right? It's going to be tonight. Did they find those kids? No. How do I look? Like the invisible man in the movie. <laughs> no one's gonna buy it. I'm Osmond Burke, and I have an appointment with your boss. Come inside if you like. Strange tent for Christmas week. Here, I'm waiting. Don't be shy. Tell your fortune, young man. I'm sorry, I don't like to waste my time on baloney. Of course not. You prefer to waste it on married women with children. How do you know? I don't like wasting my time either. And that's all we're going to talk. For now. You may leave now. I feel someone is waiting for you.
Whoa, that was intense. Everyone's so excited about the new waterfront. It'll attract the tourists, it'll bring new life to Santa Esperanza. Huh. But if we don't get Capone, he'll make sure that it will only bring more death. Merry Christmas, sir. Can I interest you in anything? I can see you're a man in love. You know what they say. If she's underneath it, she can't say no. That's what I'm hoping. Merry Christmas! Anything catch your eye, sir? No thanks. How about enough today? Very nice, but I've bought enough today. Hank Sorensen? Do I know you? I've heard a lot about you and your establishment. Or good I hope? The Tipsy Mermaid is famous for its hospitality, charm, and respect for the law. Really? In that case, I was misinformed. If you like, you can take a seat and see for yourself. But make it quick. In less than ten minutes, this place will be crawling with customers who are a lot less discerning than yourself. Any luck? They biting? Yeah, I've been after this old bastard for months. A giant sea bass. Wicked as they come. Sharp as a razor. The spawn of Satan himself. Yeah. But every day he comes a little closer to the hook. I'm gonna land that son of a bitch eventually. Why am I telling you this? I bet you don't know shit about fishing. Maybe I do. I'm about to catch a fish that's bigger, smarter, and scarier. But if it's so enormous, are you sure you can land it? Screw you, Satan. Of course I can. The hard part is getting him to bite. And to do that, I need you to shut your goddamn mouth. Now beat it. Go screw yourself! Hey there! Ah, where'd this mistletoe pop up from? <laughs> For God's sake, Elliot, no. Especially not in public. Shall we walk? I hope someday we can walk arm in arm. Was it hard to get away? Not really. I told Martha I had to check out a tip-off. In fact, it's true. That's exactly what Jim told me. On Strawberry Avenue, right? I left him in charge. It's a routine check. 
I'm sure it's nothing, at the most some kind of abandoned bootlegger still. O'Reilly and DiPietro are with him. Even Garrison joined them, to stretch his legs, and take a break from the leads in the accounting book. Are you certain there's no danger? Absolutely. You can always pick up some extra information, maybe a lead or two, but it's the dullest part of our work. Besides, I had to see you. These last months haven't been easy. We barely see each other. We're drifting apart, and... I can't allow this to end badly. And this is how you plan to prevent it? By forcing me to kiss you? This isn't right. If we go on, I'm gonna end up hating you. I, I think I already do almost as much as I hate myself. Delphine. Goddamn fish! Before, I had you as a way of escaping from Jim. But since you began this crusade against alcohol... Against Capone. Damn you to hell, Satan! Ever since you dragged Jim into these untouchables of yours, Jim Dockers is the best cop in Santa Esperanza, and the most honest. You sent him out on a raid so you could see his wife, Elliot. How can you look him in the face after that? I'll tear out your liver, you unholy abomination! It's not his face I care about, Delphine. When I'm with him, he only talks about you, and, and now you only talk about him? It was you who... You! You screwed everything up. Can't you see that? I'll rip your scales out one by one with my fucking teeth! That wasn't my intention, Delphine. I, I'm sorry. You don't have to be. There's nothing to be done. It's over, Elliot. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna cut you up and just chop you in a little... Will you shut up? We're having a conversation. No, I'm not gonna shut up until I've landed that son of a bitch. Do you want a Christmas punch in the square? Come on. <laughs> I'm serious. When I cast the line, the hook got caught round the back in my pants. No! <laughs> <laughs> Just on the seam. You know where. Ripped it right open. <laughs> Tell me there was no one behind you. Well, of course there was. The girl I was trying to impress. And her father, and the rest of her family. <laughs> Imagine the scene. There I was, shorts on display. What can I get for the happy couple? Two glasses of Christmas punch, please. Coming right up. With or without alcohol? Without, please. Well, of course. Besides, we don't serve alcohol here. No siree. At the Tipsy Mermaid, we have the greatest respect for the law. I think Jim suspects something. Yeah, when all's said and done, he is a cop. Elliot, we have to stop seeing each other. It won't be such a big change. <sighs> really, I think it's best if we break it off. Jim needs me, your priority is your work, and I don't see any other way. You're right. It's best if we just break it off, as if we'd never loved each other. Elliot, don't be like that. What should I be like? You want me to congratulate you? Jim too? All right, I wish you both the very best. 
But it's not just because of Jim. Don't forget I have a daughter. You know, I never forget that. When was the last time you showed the slightest consideration for Claire? What about your marriage? Why don't you give it a chance? Martha's parents are coming on Friday? They are. To take her back to Greenville. Oh, I, um, didn't know that. Ah, what do I care? Her loss. I don't know you anymore, Elliot. You really are untouchable. And I am Jim Docker's wife. Besides, if I want to study medicine, I'm gonna need time. I can't steal it from my family. I know, and I support you, but... Two glasses of Christmas punch for the happy couple. The fuzz really screwed up this time, huh? What do you mean? Can't you hear the sirens? On the radio, they're saying four cops got pumped full of lead. Not that I'm glad to hear it, of course. Where? On Strawberry Avenue, I think. No. No, no, no! Jim! Wait! What? We can't show up together. I'll see you later. Oh my god. Jim. <laughs> Looks like someone said something they shouldn't have. Whiskey. A bottle. Now. We don't serve alcohol here, sir. At the Tipsy Mermaid, we have the greatest respect for the law. You took delivery of 12 cases on Wednesday night. Bring me a bottle or I'll make sure you rot in jail for the rest of your sorry little life. One bottle of whiskey coming right up. Garrison. O'Reilly. De Pietro. Dockers. Uh, Garrison. O'Reilly. De Pietro. Dockers.
fucking Negro. Theseus is my bodyguard, and he's a good one. I always choose the best. Especially when I'm traveling with a heavy load. Jesus Christ, Berg. You're a mess. I'm delighted I finally get to meet the star of the newsreels. Although I won't be able to say I saw your face. Will you be like that for long? The doctor says I'll be able to go out without bandages in a month or so. He does? I thought these things took longer. Luckily, he didn't have to reconstruct your cock, huh? <laughs> We lead a dog's life, Burke. The life of a fucking dog. Politicians steal, judges are crooked, storekeepers overcharge you. Do they have to change their faces? No. These are honorable members of society. Unbelievable. You can't even feel secure in your own face. The dog's life being a criminal. You know what I'd like to be? Mm. A boxer. <laughs> I, I promise, but. Uh, what the hell is that? That is my bodyguard. But he knows how to keep his mouth shut. <laughs> Forgive Theseus, but you won't deny that your man is spectacular to say the least. Bah! A grateful customer. Boccherini and I... By the way, he gave you your new papers, didn't he? He was a little late with the handover, so to make up for it, he invited me to that pigsty he calls home. He did? He never used to be late with a job. He is so decrepit he can't even control his farting, the filthy bastard. I don't know if it's his age or what it is, but I don't think he's at his best. In any case, he came up with the goods, and I have my papers. Right. This way. Bluffing again. Oh, son of a bitch. It's called a poker face, you amateurs. Well, well, well. Here we are. I admire you. I admire you. You got balls on you, like two left hooks. A chick turns you down, you fuck her anyway. Your family turns you in? So, second smiles all round. Your face on the front pages? You get yourself a new one. <laughs> That's the way I am. I wouldn't have gotten this far if I were a fussy man. Duh. A ruthless capitalist. But you're even worse. <laughs> Why is that piece of shit laughing? Theseus. Ah, you'll find a good beating, does the trick. Wait. I know that face from somewhere. You do? Yes. Where the hell do I know it from? Bah! Doesn't matter. I don't spend much time with living Negroes. <laughs> so, 
you come to me from Vermont to spend a million fucking dollars on such unique merchandise? Why? What are you going to do with it? You got me intrigued, you know. If you need to know before you can do the deal, I'm afraid that my million dollars and I will have to walk out the way we came in. Okay, okay. I don't need to know. You pay me, I hand it over. That's the way we do these things. By the way... What? You think I'd fall for that? Son of a bitch! Bring it! Of all the men I have on Alligator 3, only he dares to touch it. The rest are terrified, a bunch of faggots. <laughs> That's just what I wanted to ask you about. Since when does Nikolai Ivankov hide himself away in a submarine? What are you scared of? So, you like to use your brain, huh? Some disappear by changing their face. Others prefer less drastic measures. I've owned it for a long time. For certain types of business. But I came on board yesterday because... Well... I'm sure you've heard the rumors. He's back. Of course. Capone. Are you serious? You think he's a threat? Oh, you don't know him. How old is he? 80? A little over 60. But that's not the issue. He's Al Capone. He's like a retired boxer. All the technique, no reflexes. If he catches you off guard, you're dead meat. Stay on guard, and you'll take him out before he even sees you. And I think he's coming after me. I'm racking my brains, but I can't think what Capone could have against you. You know? Did Boccarini tell you? I have my own sources. Is she here? Boss! Here. No, no, yes. no. We emptied the cargo it's zone. Just... The cargo zone? The cargo zone? Ah, Baccarini mentioned something. So you had dinner last night with Baccarini? Uh, yes. Of course, he probably cooked you his specialty. Lasagna. Delicious. He didn't tell me it was a specialty, but I've no doubt it was. Duh, duh. So, do you have the false papers he gave you? Just that with all this talk of him getting old, I'd like to see if he's lost his touch. Well, I'd show you, but I left them in a safe at the hotel. Safety first. I see. This just confirms my suspicions. You know, I fear you may have been robbed. It turns out they just found a body in a nice part of town. A recent suicide, it would seem. Apparently he jumped from a high place. He landed feet first, and his thigh bones burst his lungs. But the face was intact. Well, that's a figure of speech. He had recently been operated on. And, to get back to the subject, in his pocket, he had the papers Boccarini gave to you. Don't 
let them get close to me! Where's Ivankov? Milton, the door. At your command, Mr. Niss. Come on! It's a pleasure to be me again. Shut the hot cheese! We have to get him and have a little chat. Protect Ivan Khan! Don't let them get to the boss! So, everything's gonna work out fine, huh? If someone hadn't thrown someone off the side of a Zeppelin... Well, Alphonse gets these crazy notions. Alphonse. Helping me. I don't like shoot. I prefer the human touch. Why does Capone send me a bodyguard who won't shoot? I'm not your bodyguard, Ness. I'm here to watch you. The secret of what? Of your blueberry pie. In your dreams. Kill them! Kill them! 